On this week's episode of Go Digital, Aarti and Shivam help a customer calibrate his brand new 3D TV at home in TechQuest. In Ask Rescue, you will see the different ways one can use cloud storage technology. In the top 5 segment, they take you through the top 5 services for laptops that the rescue experts provide. In What Works For You, check out how screen mirroring works. In Easy Hacks, learn how to boost your Wi-Fi speed. And in Before You Buy, Aarti and Shivam will help wash away the eternal dilemma a front load or a top loading washing machine. Hi, I'm Shivam. And I'm Arsi. And welcome to the second episode of Go Digital, your one stop shop for tech problems, demo setups of your electronic devices, and the latest news in the gadget and app world. And in this particular episode, we have something really exciting lined up for you. Also, seems like this guy needs our help. You think we should go talk to her? Yeah. Hi. Oh, hi. 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 How are you enjoying your 3D viewing experience? Yeah, uh, in fact, I actually bought a 3D TV for my home recently. That's great. Uh, and while it seemed to work beautifully at the store, I'm now having trouble calibrating it to my room's dimensions. That won't be a problem at all. We have a rescue team who will set it up for you. You want me and my team to come fix it up? Oh, wow, that'd be great. Yeah. We'll see you in a bit. Oh, thanks. Great, thanks. Great. thanks a lot. Television technology has come a long way. After color, then HD. It was likely that 3D at some point would have its share of limelight. It's definitely an eye-catching experience, which up until now was best experienced in a controlled theatre environment. But there's one drawback. Not many people are aware of how to attune the 3D feature in their TV sets to best suit their home environment. The rescue squad is being briefed by Shivam as they prepare themselves for the first task of the day. So we have a customer who's having trouble calibrating his 3D TV to his room's dimensions. I believe you have fair experience dealing with that. Cool, let's do this. All geared up, they should be on their way to Sehed's house in South Delhi, Vasant Kunj. The team is all set to go. Let's see what's in store for them. Oh, hi. hi. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, so this is my television. Oh, it's great. Whilst calibrating a 3D TV for your home, the very first factor to check is the viewing distance from the TV. Now, considering the fully HD TV, the standard viewing distance is about 1.6 times the size of the TV. So the approximate distance in this case will be 1.625 meters. To enjoy a realistic 3D experience, the TV screen size and the TV viewing angle with respect to your seating position is critical. The farthest point of a 3D TV image appears farther away from the TV screen. Despite the fact that the visual is actually being displayed on a flat surface at a fixed distance away from the viewer. You have to keep in mind to stick to the 3D comfort zone which results in a 3D viewing experience that's easy on your eyes. Also, the content you view should be in a 3D format and that's not a problem because 3D content is now easily available on Blu-ray disc, 3D console games and 3D torrent downloads. In order to see the depth from a 3D TV, each eye has to absorb a slightly different visual information. The right eye will not see anything when the information is beamed for the left eye and vice versa. 
you'll also need an HDMI 1.4 version cable to enable connectivity to your set-top box or your Blu-ray disc player. It's also very easy to connect a DVD player to your 3D TV using an HDMI 1.4 version cable. Check for the available ports on the TV and the DVD player and use the HDMI cable to transmit both audio and video from your player to your TV. Plug in both ends into the DVD player and the TV respectively at their specified HDMI ports. Configure the settings according to the instructions that appear on the screen and you are all set. Moving on, some information about the two types of 3D glasses available in the market. You have two types here, the active 3D glasses and passive 3D glasses. Active 3D glasses use a battery operated shutter glass that have shutters which flicker rapidly. All you need is a TV that's capable of refreshing fast enough so each eye absorbs at least 60 frames per second. Active 3D can be found in plasma, LCD, LED and all front and rear projectors for home. Passive 3D glasses use Polaroid glasses similar to the ones in movie theatres. Every TV has a special filter that polarizes each line of pixels. This filter makes the odd lines on the screen only visible to the left eye and the even lines only visible to the right. Without the glasses, the TV would appear two-dimensional. That's how passive 3D glasses work. The passive 3D glasses allow you to view the video in its depth. Great. Well, now that you're impressed, I'll be on my way. Thanks. I hope Sahaj is enjoying his 3D viewing experience. I hope so. And while you were away, I got a query from Mr. Das who was concerned about retrieving the data stored on his laptop. Yes, of course, a very scary prospect for anyone who stores a large amount of the data on their system's hard drive. Yeah, it's natural to be careful while storing a lot of content. But sometimes, despite our best efforts, data is lost through the hard disk crashing at unexpected times. Follow a few easy steps to prevent this from happening or fix the problem on your own when it happens. It's always better to keep a copy of any important data, music, video content, any other information on cloud storage so that it can be recovered in case of data loss. Another wonderful perk of the cloud storage system is that it enables you to access data from anywhere in the world across multiple devices. And our rescue squad will help demonstrate how you can set an online cloud storage account and create a personal cloud storage with the help of network hard disk. A Dropbox account or a Google Drive could be created to store your data online. Buying external hard drives can chalk up to a heavy expense on the pocket. So finding an alternative source of storage online is more economical and convenient. What you may need, however, is a decent internet speed to be able to upload and download files easily. Ensure you have a really strong password to keep your personal information locked away securely. Your router is meant to connect multiple devices on your home network to the internet and you need to ensure that this feature is turned on. If you have your files stored on your computer with personal cloud software installed on your computer, you can easily access the files located on your homebound computer via the internet. These are some easy ways to ensure that your data is accessible and at lesser risk of getting lost. It's time for the top 5 of the week. And we've come up with an interesting list this time. The Rescue Squad, apart from helping customers with demo setups, also offers a list of services that can help make the customer's life much simpler. The Rescue Squad can help you with your data backup by creating a recovery disk for you and taking a backup of the complete user profile folder, documents and multimedia contents on external storage device or on an online cloud storage. 
To enable this further, they can help you configure cloud storage account and demonstrate how to upload data or help you install a network hard disk and create a personal cloud at your home or office. The Rescue Squad can assist you in creating a wireless network using a wireless router and connect all possible gadgets available to it. Configure router for secure wireless internet access and demonstrate multimedia streaming across devices like PC, mobile, tablet, TV, etc. Multi-device connectivity is necessary to make the use of several gadgets at the same time easier and a less cumbersome process. The Rescue Squad can help you connect your laptop with your TV, projector or home theatre. Install and configure wired or wireless printing and enable data transfer, sharing or streaming with mobile or tablet. Software and antivirus installations are a cumbersome process as they are necessary. The Rescue Squad can help you identify limitations of existing operating systems or built-in software and suggest upgrades and customizations. For most of us today, life without Wi-Fi is very difficult to imagine. Wireless A, B and G are old and slow and wireless N or AC will give you the fastest speed around. Want to buy a washing machine but confused which one to go with? The advantages of the front-loading washing machine are many and varied. The disadvantages though are that it consumes a lot more power and it requires constant bending at the time of loading and unloading clothes. Our work only seems to be getting more interesting by the day. Yes, it is. I just received a query from a customer who needs help setting up screen mirroring with Android, Windows and iOS devices. A process that's highly effective but slightly confusing to implement. For starters, you need to check if your other Wi-Fi enabled gadgets also support screen mirroring. Our rescue experts can help you by visiting your place if required. It's possible to change your device within a reasonable budget or invest in upgrades if both gadgets don't support this feature. Once the connection has been established, the rescue expert will fix the interconnectivity and can easily demonstrate this to you. Another way to enable screen mirroring is by using HDMI. If your phone supports MHL or mobile high definition link, it's possible to enable screen mirroring using an HDMI cable. Your TV needs to have an HDMI interface with MHL support. You will then require a micro USB for HDMI adapter for phone and HDMI cable for physical connectivity from phone to TV. The rescue experts can help you identify if your gadgets support such connectivity and if not, then suggest an alternative mode of connection. For most of us today, life without Wi-Fi is very difficult to imagine. Which is why, in today's segment, we bring to you a few easy ways to boost your Wi-Fi that helps increase your productivity and minimize the time invested in fixing technology bugs. The first step towards a seamless, uninterrupted Wi-Fi connection is to use the latest Wi-Fi technologies. Wireless A, B and G are old and slow, while wireless N or AC will give you the fastest speeds around. If you want the best signal, you will need it out in the open, free of any walls and obstructions. Point the antennas vertically and elevate the router if you can. Make sure it's in the center of your house so you have the best coverage possible throughout the home. 
find the right wireless channel by using a tool like Wi-Fi Stumbler or Wi-Fi Analyzer to find the perfect channel in your house. Interference from other appliances like cordless phones, microwave and other appliances can also interfere with the Wi-Fi signal. One possible way to fix this is to invest in a dual band router. Keep your router further away from electronic appliances that might interfere with its network range. For any further details and queries, you can always get in touch with us and our rescue squad will guide you through to a seamless technological future. Want to buy a washing machine but confused which one to go with? In this segment, we help you choose between a front-loading or a top-loading fully automatic washing machine. The advantages of the front-loading washing machine are many and varied. It easily offers you the best wash quality, simulates a thumping action, consumes lesser water and has various temperature options and a higher drying efficiency. The disadvantages though are that it consumes a lot more power and it requires constant bending at the time of loading and unloading clothes. Next up are the advantages and disadvantages of a top-loading washing machine. The advantages of a top-loading washing machine are that it occupies less space, it's fully automatic and simply has better aesthetics. The start can be delayed too. The disadvantages are, however, that it consumes a little more water. There are two components in every washer. The control system, which includes the control boards, load size selector, pressure switch, the water temperature selector, timer and the lid locking switch. The mechanical system is composed of the motor, transmission, clutch, inner and outer wash tubs, agitator, pumps, water valve, suspension system and a belt or motor coupling. Top load washers use a center agitator with propeller-like paddles to move clothes through the water from the top to the bottom. This top to bottom agitation continues for the length of the wash cycle, forcing water and detergent through the fabrics to loosen dirt. Front load washers work by filling the bottom of the inner tub with water and using rotation of the tub and gravity to move the clothes through the water. The rotation action is similar to the tumbling action found in a clothes dryer. The side paddles on the inside drum lift the clothes and move them in and out of the water and provides the scrubbing needed to remove the dirt from the fabric. Sofa tips have come to your use. This is us signing off from Go Digital. Until next time.